Hello, I'm Reverend Dr. Jose Miguel Roman, spiritual counsel here at the United Palace of Spiritual Arts, the home of spiritual artistry. Nearly five years ago, I was visiting the small Caribbean island of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is where my father and mother were born and raised. It is my ancestral island, out of which comes my original culture, my family history, and as I have discovered, a big part of my personal identity and cherished soul. During that visit, I had the opportunity to go to one of the island's most celebrated art museums, El Museo de Arte de Puerto Rico, the Museum of Puerto Rican Art. At one point in my visit, I entered a dimly lit room. It was a beautifully meditative space filled with wonderful art produced by Puerto Rico's most celebrated artists. As I walked the room, my spirit soared. In that museum room, all the way in the back, hung a remarkable work of art, a painting that would transform that moment in my life into a luscious experience of spiritual artistry. The painting was the work of Ramon Frade, a Puerto Rican realist painter born in 1875. In 1905, this noteworthy artist would produce his most celebrated work, El Pan Nuestro de Cada Día, Our Daily Bread, a painting named after one of our Lord's most beloved prayers. There I was in 2015, standing in front of Ramon's masterpiece. I was overwhelmed. Never in the course of my life had I ever responded to a painting in this way. El Pan Nuestro depicts an old man, a jíbaro, literally a hillbilly, a man who makes his living working the soil, a man of little education or station in life, in essence, the simplest of simple men. As I stood there, I realized this must be an older Puerto Rican man, somewhere in his, in his 60s, coming home after a full day's work. He is barefoot. He wears a simple white shirt with no collar, khaki working pants, and a straw hat. In his arms, cradled as if he were cradling a baby, is a stock of plantains his daily bread. The man is old, poor, yet dignified. There is even the hint of pride in his handsome, strong, bearded old face. His clothes are cheap, well-worn, yet clean, even neat. He may be the simplest, least influential member of his society, yet in his face and working man's bearing, there is gravity, power, a power born of genuine dignity and self-respect. He walks barefoot. This is a man with no money for shoes, but he does not need shoes. The soil is not foreign to the skin of his feet. His little island, Puerto Rico, is his home. There's no need to protect his feet as he walks home. The land around him is verdant green, the sky a gentle blue. Although poor, he is without need. Although lowly, he stands complete. This is a painting depicting the soul of Puerto Rico. I stood there mesmerized. Then I began to weep. This painting, this brilliant illustration of spiritual artistry, had weaved its way deep into my consciousness. There was something here in this image that spoke eloquently to deep unspoken parts of my soul. Here were my people, their simplicity, their poverty, their struggle, their dignity, 
their grandeur. His old face reminded me of so many members of my family. His bare feet reminded me of my mother who once worked bare feet cleaning a building so that my sister and I could go beautifully dressed every day to school. In his arms was a staple of his diet and mine. As a child, I had plantains with nearly every meal my mother cooked. To this day, when I want to share in an intimate meal with a friend or colleague, I take them to a Caribbean restaurant and I order plantains. Yet there is also distance between this old man in the painting and me. I'm not a Hibaro, but a cosmopolitan. I wear shoes at times even Gucci loafers. I do not work in the fields, but in an office overlooking the campus of a great American university. This man, this old man in the painting is at once both intimate and distant. And so I cry. A part of me is asking, what has been lost? What if anything, anything has been gained? I stood there nearly two hours taking in this painting and its remarkable spirit when it finally came to me. This was more than just the spirit of Puerto Rico. This was in the deepest intimacy of this painting. There was some deeper universal human truth. It is within this simplicity of spirit so beautifully captured in this painting that a man or woman truly expresses what is most deeply beautiful, poignant, and meaningful in a human being. It is here, stripped of worldly power and success, that we truly see into who and what we are. A human being made whole by a deep relationship to the earth and a simple humility of being. Our daily bread reminds us of our connection and dependence upon this earth we so horribly mistreat. In the deep and beautiful modesty of being we see in this painting, we're reminded how little we really need to be fully alive and feel whole. This painting by a Puerto Rican artist born in the late 1800 speaks to us living in the 21st century. Like a work of Beethoven, Picasso, or Shakespeare, by using the human creative imagination to voice the deepest of the human spirit, the work evokes the personal and then arouses the universal. Our daily bread stands as a celebration of every man and every woman. In its humility, it celebrates our human splendor. There is a completeness of being when our bare feet touch the simple earth and our old face acclaims the sky. Standing there in this museum with tears running down my face, I finally experienced the formidable path of spiritual artistry. My soul rejoiced. On my way back to my hotel room, I took off my shoes and socks and I walked barefoot the beautiful streets of my beloved Puerto Rico.